So what's been life like after football for you so far? Uh, it's been calm, you know, not too much going on. Trying to you know, focus on school and just finishing up strong. Um, here in the semester, you know, I've kind of been on my own schedule, trying to find some time to, to do some different things, you know, uh, watching TV a little bit more, you know, trying to do some crossword puzzles a little bit more. Um, but kind of just filling up my time, it's, it's different. As soon as the game against South Dakota ended, just what happened after that with you? It was snowy, it was cold, windy, everything. You know, I had a bunch of family there. Um, I wanted to, you know, they've been supporting me for so long, I, I wanted to go out with a bang. Um, but, you know, I, I instantly you know, started praying. I was like, you know, I just want to play one more game. You know, hopefully the committee likes our team and likes what we've done over the season, likes our body of work. Um, just praying, you know, maybe get one more chance. And it didn't happen, but, um, you know, that's kind of that's kind of how football is. Sometimes it, the ball just roll somebody else's way and doesn't roll yours and you just got to roll with the punches. Just, uh, can you just talk about maybe going 7-1 and one before hitting the bye week and, and, and what was that transition like and just everything that was going on? Going into the bye week we realized that we had the big dogs in our conference and you and I and North Dakota State and South Dakota State and, um, that we were going to have to get healthy, uh, we were going to have to get stronger and, we're, and, and the, comp the level of competition was going to increase um, and it did. And, um, you know, those games always come down to just a couple plays. Um, specifically, you and I, you know, it comes down to a last second field goal. Um, you, you look back on the, the next day on Sunday and you realize it was just a couple plays that had gone differently. We would have won that game. Um, same thing with North Dakota State. You know, I didn't play a whole lot that game. I was hurt. South Dakota State kind of came in and took it to us. Um, but you know, those are just, those are, the, those are the big dogs in our conference. And, and it was hard. And, and, um, Kind of falling like that at the end was was definitely hurtful and, and um, painful, but you know that's just things we look. At. I remember being right on the sideline. I want to say it was second or third down in Northern Iowa. I want to say you about a yard or two out. You come running right towards me. You go down for the touchdown. And then you weren't getting up. What was going through your mind and, and what happened at that um, moment? My ankle hurt. My ankle hurt. Um, I had sprained it a quarter before. Um, right before I threw the interception, I sprained it. Um, and then I, was, I tried to play through it, and then uh, you know I was trying to be tough. Um, you know I, I was I had my adrenaline going. I was I was warmed up. I was loose. I was sweating, and you know, I didn't want to come out of the game. I knew it was you and I. I knew it was a big time game for us. Uh, we were on the road, and we had to win. I had to I had to score. I had to get us ahead so that you know give my team the best chance to win. Um, and I was going to lose my ankle if I had to do it. And I pushed off at one time on my right foot. I uh, twisted it a, li a little bit more. I, I had retaped it a little bit before. So I heard it a little bit more, um, but I scored, and that's, that's what was important to me at the time. Um, looking back on it now, I do the same thing, and, and I'd, I'd give any limb, any, any part of my body for this team. You mentioned it briefly, but in that North Dakota State game, you started, once they played almost the first half before you came out, came back, mm -hmm. I think uh, later on in the third quarter, for mm -hmm. one series, came back out. Yeah. Was that just the case that the pain was just getting worse? Uh, we wanted to try it. We taped it up pretty good. Um, I, I was hoping to get loose. I had practiced a little bit on Thursday. It really did not feel good. Um, it was still painful running on and, and cutting. And uh, The biggest thing was just being a quarterback and, and a right-handed quarterback. I was pushing off that back leg and, and it was that back leg. So it was giving me a lot of trouble with you know, accuracy and, and some of the velocity on my ball. You know, I started thinking, you know, I, I got to give my team the best chance to win. I got to give my team the best chance to win. And when Dante was full healthy, you know, I was giving my team the best chance to win by him playing. Um, and you know no, nothing against Tanner at all, but you know I just had to get back in there. That was that was me being stubborn, and I said, Coach Montgomery, you know, I, Coach Wolf, I got to get back in there. I got to play. Let me play. 
Um, pain didn't get any better. Um, it was actually tighter, um, and, and we made a decision to just you know, put Tanner in, and Tanner played well. He, he scored that touchdown to Nate, um, and, and he really ran the offense, and, and we had some good production with Tanner in there, so I'm proud of him. Kurt Hess fakes the handoff, wants to throw, firing deep down field, and it's caught! Touchdown! Marcel Kaper! 67 yards to Pater! You've had numerous accolades, numerous records here last year. The list just goes on and on and on. I think Wolford said one time in a press conference that that's something that you'll probably think about maybe with your grandpa one day or mm -hmm. something. But mm -hmm. since since the last game of the year against South Dakota, have you had the time to reflect on what you've accomplished? Yeah, a little bit. And um, you know, my dad brought it up to me. I think it was the day after the game, and, and said you have nothing to you know be ashamed of. And, and he's so proud of me. And my, my mom said he was so proud of me. And you know, my brother as well. Um, and it really makes you stop and think, you know, when your family start telling you things like that and how, how proud they are of you and how much they love you, um, how important um, it was for, for, for me to give it my all and for me to just go out there and, and do what I do and, and be myself. And, um, I will look, on, look back on it someday when I'm an old man. Um, but I, I'm just happy that I've been given this opportunity. Um, and it's something that's very special. Is there any record that stick out? I think. Probably the coolest is uh, 2,000 yards every year, you know, being here for four, four years. I, I don't think anybody's ever done that before. Um, I think that one's cool because it kind of invented it. But I think three-time captain's the best. Being a three-time captain, having your team look up to you um, for three straight years as somebody to go out there and, and lead the team to victories and, and lead the team when we lose and, and lead the team no matter what we're doing. You know, I'm a captain. Put responsibility on me. Put it on me. I don't care. You know, I'm, a, I'm the captain. And, and, um, you know, when we win, I want the credit. When we lose, I want the blame. That's just how it is, being a captain. And, um, I think that's really cool, too. Is there any dream still of playing football, whether um, it's overseas or still? I, I think I got a lot of football in me. I may try it, um, but ultimately, you know, I'm going to go with my heart, and I'm going to go with my gut, and, and whatever tells me the best opportunity for me and, and for my family and friends, um, I'm going to take that because I, I have um, a great support system, you know, especially here at Youngstown State. You're know, playing for Coach Wolf and, and um, the family and friends that I've met um, and been introduced to as long as I've been here. I know that they're they're going to back me 100%. And, uh, whatever I choose, whatever my heart desires, is, is where I'm going to go. Um, whether it be football, hopefully it is, because um, I, I wanted to play that one more game. Um, if it's not, if I don't get a shot, then then that's just how it's going to be, and uh, I'm going to live my life. You have not missed a game since your freshman year, and to just come to this point where you have not made the playoffs in, in, in any of those years, have you had the time to reflect on that? Yeah, and, and I think I um, individually reflect on it every season. Um, you know, first year three and eight, you know, we weren't going to make the playoffs then. Um, and then Missouri State, my sophomore year, we were one game away. I um, reflected a little bit upon that and, and tried to come back next year better. Um, so after each season, I think, in these past two seasons, missing it by one game. Uh, you stop and think and, and, and try to you know, live your life and, and, and help the people around you live their lives so that they can be better. And, and you realize that there's nothing to be really, you know, you can be proud of some things that you've done, um, but you, ne you can never really be satisfied. And, and that's how I'm going to live my life. And, you know, I'm going to have things that come after football that are going to stop me in my tracks and I'm going to say, why did this happen to me? Um, but I'm going to realize and, and use these events to say, hey, don't be satisfied. You know, stay hungry. Something else is out there for you, and, and keep fighting for that championship, and keep fighting for your family, keep fighting for your job, and um, you know that's the lessons I've learned here. Kurt Hess wants to throw for it. Kurt's in some trouble. Gets rid of an end zone. Cut. Touchdown. Why issue? Somehow Kurt Hess got deck, got it to Andre Stubbs in the back of the end zone, eight yard pass. Takes the snap, wants to throw, looking right side, firing the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown, Jelani Barraza!